the ukrainian military and russia's mercenary wagner forces have reported further russian retreats around the city of bakhmut as kyiv pressed on with its biggest advance in the city for months in advance of a long-awaited counteroffensive ukraine said it had repelled a day of russian attacks in and around the ruined eastern city on thursday and made gains of up to one kilometer almost 3300 feet in some places the head of the wagner group which is spearheading the Russian attack on Bakhmut, said his forces had also advanced up to 400 meters more than 1,300 feet in parts of the city. We're pushing Bakhmut all the way to the end, Wagner boss Yevgeny Prigazin said in an audio Prigazin recording on his Wagner telegram fighters channel. are on the cusp of pushing Ukrainian troops out of their last foothold in the built-up area on the city's western outskirts. But he also accused Russia's regular forces of abandoning ground north and south of the city, raising the risk of Russian troops inside being encircled. Unfortunately, units of the Russian Defense Ministry have withdrawn up to 570 meters 1,880 feet to the north of Bakhmut, exposing our flanks, Prigazin said in his latest voice message on Thursday. I am appealing to the top leadership of the Ministry of Defense, publicly, because my letters are not being read, Prigazin said, addressing Russian Defense Minister Sergei Shoigu and Chief of the General Please Staff Valery Gerasimov, he said. Ukraine's Deputy Defense Minister Hanna Malier, reporting on the advances in Bakhmut, said Ukrainian forces were meeting their military objectives. As of now, we control the southwestern part of Bakhmut, she said. Russia attacked Bakhmut all day on Thursday, having significantly strengthened its forces in the city by bringing in most of its reserves, but all attacks were repelled, she said. The Russian Defense Ministry has acknowledged some withdrawals from positions near Bakhmut over the past week, but denies Prigazin's assertions that flanks are crumbling, or that it has withheld Ukrainian ammunition from have Wagner. seized the tactical initiative and made tactically significant gains around Bakhmut in counter-attack operations on Thursday, the Institute for the Study of War said in its latest briefing on the conflict. The limited nature of Wagner's offensive operations in Bakhmut compared to the localized Ukrainian counterattacks underscores the loss of Russian initiative in the area, the Washington, D.C.-based think tank said. Bakhmut Mousetrap Declaring victory in the blackened ruins of Bakhmut, described by both sides as a meat grinder, would be Moscow's only prize for its huge winter offensive that failed elsewhere along the front. Kiev says its tactic in Bakhmut is to draw Russian forces into the city's urban warfare, so as to weaken Kiev Russia's front-line defenses in Bakhmut else. is to draw Russian forces into the city's urban warfare, so as to weaken Russia's front-line defenses elsewhere before Kiev's planned counter-assault. The area around the city, once home to 70,000 people in the Donetsk region of eastern Ukraine, has been the focus of fighting for months. Oleksandr Sersky, commander of Ukraine's ground forces, said in social media message this week that Wagner forces had climbed into Bakhmut like rats into a mousetrap. The enemy has more resources but we are destroying his night, plans, Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky praised his troops and the country's air defenses amid days of complex missile and drone attacks on Kiev and other cities, which have been largely repelled resulting in the downing of the incoming Russian missiles. First of all, the defense brigades did a good job, they fulfilled the main strategic tasks, but now is not the time to give details, Zelensky said in his nightly address. Secondly, the offensive brigades are doing a good job, we are preparing, he said, adding that no details could be given. Thirdly, Aiming and air protection of civilians, and the Air Force is doing a great job. Our priorities for this week, next week, and for the near future are additional air defense systems, additional missiles, training and aircraft, and long-range weapons. And this will be fulfilled. Secretary of Ukraine's National Security and Defense Council Alexei Danilov said Russia's repeated missile attacks on Kiev, there have been nine so far this month, was a sign of Moscow's desperation. Moscow was attacking the symbolic places of Kiev as it needed to raise the degree of patriotic hysteria within Russia, Danilov wrote in a tweet. In Russia, a process of despair and disappointment with the authorities is developing against the background of the unsuccessful offensive and failures at the front, he, 